So this is week two in Cambodia. Um, we are in Krache, um, in the west of Cambodia, um, quite near the border to Laos. Um, it's very rural, we're on the edge of the Mekong. Um, we just saw the Mekong dolphins, which is really interesting. Um, there are only about 72 of them, are, uh, I think, alive. And we're lucky enough to catch some of them on our first trip out, which is really cool. Um, and how they cohabit with the fishermen going past literally within a few meters of each other, all trying to go for the same fish, is pretty impressive. But otherwise, impressions, I'm afraid it's still not great. Hey? I'm, I'm struggling to kind of get to grips with Cambodia. Um, it just, it, it still feels dirty. Um, Mostly in the streets, uh, a lot of the buildings on the outside look pretty grubby. Um, generally, I, th I mean, the restaurants are cool, are fine. Um, the people, I mean, though, I mean, everyone looks after themselves. I mean, it just feels that once you get on the street, it's a free for all. You can throw your rubbish, you can let things go. You don't really care about what happens. So it ends up, what ends up happening is that the streets look really bad. And the buildings look pretty shoddy, except for maybe in Phnom Penh where some of the newer ones are new buildings, but even them they're starting to look a bit kind of grotty near street level. And everything else is just uh, full of litter. Um, I mean, we've been walking around the town now, and a lot of houses, a lot of buildings, even in, inside the actual grounds, um, there are piles of garbage just lying there, and people are just, you know, underneath there washing, um, and people are just throwing bottles in the ground, throwing bits and pieces in the water. There's no sense of kind of like, hang on, let's pick this up and just put it in a dustbin or keep it on me. They just drop it and let it go. Someone else is going to pick it up. And from what we've seen, no one picks up anything. Um, I, I mean, we've been here for almost a week and no one has picked up anything that I've seen. So it's a bit kind of depressing. Um, I'm not too sure why it is like that. Um, you know, maybe there's not enough money, but uh, the way I see it is this, everything looks very run down. Um, yeah, so I'm not too sure. That That's kind of my biggest impression. So this week has been a lot easier, thank goodness. Um, I don't think it could have gotten much harder than last week. We've still been on the road a lot though. We came um, from Simrip to Phnom Penh, which was about a five or six hour bus ride. And then from Phnom Penh to Krache, where we are at the moment, which was a six or seven hour bus ride. Um, and we came here to Krache. It's a riverside town on the banks of the Mekong River. And we came here to see the rare Irrawaddy dolphins, which we saw yesterday. It was quite magical. There's only 70 of them left in the world. Overall, though, we keep waiting to fall in love with Cambodia. I keep waiting to fall in love with Cambodia, and I haven't yet. There's something a little bit unsettling about it. Um, and so far, not a whole lot of beauty or loveliness that we've seen. The people are really lovely, but we keep looking for something, for, for like the heart, the kernel of how we feel about it, and, and we haven't found that yet. So I'm hoping we find it when we go down south, which we'll be doing in the next week or so. Uh, diabetically, it's been a lot easier, thank goodness. Um, I realized in the middle of the week that the reason it was so easy to take control of my diabetes at home is because I was eating pretty much the same thing every day. Like my lunch every day would be a slice of whole wheat bread and a piece of fruit. And that's so easy to predict. Whereas here, who knows what we're going to be eating from meal to meal. Although in Krache, the breakfast and lunch standard is uh, baguettes. Like these. Lovely, delicious, white bread, very high in carbohydrate, very low in anything that will fill you up. Um, so it's been a little bit easier to predict, but still not really the kind of food I want to be eating. We found some rye bread in Phnom Penh, which was very exciting. But overall, health-wise, it's been a much easier week. And uh, yeah, I really look forward to seeing what happens next. Uh, Cambodia has been quite a puzzle for us. Fascinating, but a puzzle. Thank you.